Guys, it's Norpus and VAT on batteries tomorrow. Yeah! I'm George, that's me. Hi. Christmas has come late or early, depending on how you look at it. Starting from the 1st of February 2024, VAT is not going to be applied on any battery storage. Um, not just give energy, but don't go looking at other people's. Just stay, you're here. Don't, don't go anywhere else. What a day. I've been petitioning for this to be a bank holiday. It's not gone down well, but it should be marked as a day of good positive change, which is something that I think, you know, as a industry that me personally, and maybe the company as a whole, you know, it's nice. It's nice to have some good news. Who doesn't like good news? Maybe if you're a person that gets paid off bad news, like a coroner, but ultimately good news is good news. We shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth because I... If anyone could tell me what that actually means, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Is it because it's going to kick you or trample you? Is the horse the gift? <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's a very big government official document online that you can read. I've read it. It's, it's long. It is long. But the main caveats and takeaways are that obviously VAT is now gone until 2027. Specifically the 31st of March. 2027. The government are referring to it as a sunset period, which sounds a lot more romantic than what it actually is, which is just when the VAT will come back, but just not as much, 5%. That's the current plan. That may change, but this is your call to arms. In order for this to be extended and in order for this to maybe be applied in other areas, then we need you to vote with your feet and more importantly, your bank details. It's important. This is a good first step, but Rishi or Kia. I'm talking to you right now. We need more action. And we need bigger steps to be taken in our fight to become more renewable and more sustainable. And yes, this is a nice way to alleviate some of the entry barriers. But we give energy here, trying as hard as we can. And we need the government to step in and do something about it. Please. Or just don't, you know, that's fine too, that's all right. Being industry leaders is tricky. We, we try and make things as affordable as they can be to try and make sure that everybody has access to this sort of kit. And this is only gonna help and strengthen that. So typically on average, a typical, typically typical, typical give energy kit would cost you about 4,000 pounds. Obviously that changes. You might have, if you bought a kit, spent more than that, that's fine. But I'm telling you the truth. And then obviously you have VAT on top of that. Without that VAT, you're looking at a saving of 800 pounds, which is the equivalent of 3,200 Freddos. 3,200 Freddos. You could kill a small child with that amount of Freddos. Or you could make 3,200 children slightly happier. Or adults. Why has it got to be kids? You weirdo. So just let that sink in for a second. And if it's the one takeaway from this video that I want, <laughs> is that you could get 3,200 Freddos and a battery and be no worse off than somebody who did it yesterday. That's insane. And if you are one of those people that's done it in the past and are not getting this benefit, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't give you that amount of Freddos. Nobody can. That's insane. Anyway, if you're interested in battery storage and you're interested in Give Energy, then you should definitely, almost certainly, go and check out our website, which is www.giveenergy.co.uk. Have a look at our amazing, wonderful installers that could come and fit some kit for you. Or if you're an installer, have a look at some of our amazing, fantastic, wonderful wholesalers who you can buy the kit from. Don't delay. As always, I've been George, you've been you. If you could like or subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. But if you don't, don't dislike it, because that's really mean. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are so wonderful, as am I. And we'll see you next time. Bye.